Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the ALF Boss Show. My name is Pascal, and today we're going to talk long-term care as far as it affects uh, your ALF facilities, as far as picking plans that fit uh, your facility. There are many factors that we're going to discuss regarding that. Uh, it is open enrollment. I'm going to touch base on that as well. And I do have a special guest today, uh, Mr. Nestor Plana. With, uh, in the, you might know him from Independent Living Systems, but now he's uh, with, uh, also with Florida Community Care, which uh, is a new kid on the block, we'll say, but not really. You guys are taking the industry by storm, which is pretty significant. Um, but first, I want to go ahead and touch base. Uh, it is open enrollment uh, period, and it's very important uh, that you maybe speak with it with your residents if they are unhappy with their plans. Uh, let's talk with family members. Uh, be very careful, however, if you do get involved, uh, that you download the authorization form from the ACA website. Uh, you can get in trouble with ACA. I do know facilities who have gotten in trouble with ACA, and you want to stay out of that boat. So make sure you get a representative uh, form so you can help the resident make the right decision. Now, as far as plans, uh, there are Different factors. I mean, as a facility owner, you do have the right to choose what plan you want to contract with. Uh, you don't have to contract with all of them. That's up to you. Some plans offer different benefits. Um, you know, do your homework um, and see which one fits for you. There are different factors, uh, different rates. Uh, some of them have different ways of doing billing. Some of them have uh, payment options that are a little quicker than others. And there are also um, issues with payments with some plans at some point. So you have to kind of do your homework, uh, talk to the ALF owners. Uh, you can mention in the ALF boss group, you know, that everybody's more than, help, more than helpful in there to help you with that situation. So uh, today we're very lucky to be joined by Nestor uh, with Florida Community Care. And he's going to answer some of your questions today. But first, Nestor, thank you for being on the show. Thank, thank you, you, Pascal. Thank nope. you for having me here no today. No problem. And if you would, uh, you've been around for quite a while, so people don't know that in the industry. If you want to touch base on that a little bit, that'd be awesome. Great. Thank you. So I have been involved in long-term care for many years in, in the state of Florida. Um, in the early 1990s, I um, became a member of, of the board of a company called United Home Care that provided home and community-based services uh, to the elderly population and really uh, got enamored with uh, the, the, the opportunity of managed long-term care. Um, going forward in 1998, uh, with a company that we operated, which was Beacon Health Plans, we received the first contract in the state of Florida to provide the nursing home diversion program. Um, then when we started independent living systems, in 2001, we helped seven of the 14 nursing home diversion operators uh, get into the business and provide all of the back office uh, services for them. And really at that time, um, I, I, I got to understand how important the uh, assisted living facilities were for the state of Florida to manage patients in long-term care and be able to keep patients uh, from going into the nursing home. So really since 1998 in Florida, we have been providing services around uh, the long-term care component. Um, Independent Living Systems, which is the parent company of Florida Community uh, Care, also operates long-term care programs across the country in states like New York, Illinois, California, South Carolina, Virginia, uh, and have been providing these services uh, for many years. So we're, we're very excited that Florida Community Care is now uh, uh, the newest um, long-term care plus plan in Florida and are able to continue to work with uh, the providers across all of the regions in the state of Florida. Why is FCC able to offer such high reimbursement rates to ALFs? 
Well, the, the reason why we uh, try to go to the top of the market when we offer um, rates for the assisted living facilities is because we feel assisted living facilities uh, provide an excellent service to patients in the long-term care programs. Uh, the, the key component for long-term care services is for us to be able to have patients aging within the community. And for many years, we have seen that the safety net that we have in the state of Florida with assisted living um, facilities is the key component of having people reducing nursing home stay in, 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 in long term. Um, we have seen other states that do not have um, assisted living facilities like the state of Florida and their nursing home uh, expenditures and nursing home placements are a lot greater than the state of Florida. For many years, we have been uh, um, working very closely with the assisted living community, making sure that they have the, the best reimbursement possible so they can help us keep the patients uh, aging in place. And most importantly, they serve a very important component of transitioning patients from the nursing homes back into the community. So that is the, the main reason why we try to keep our rates uh, uh, at, at the highest possible level because we know that the assisted living community are providing excellent services to our members and clients. How many regions does FCC currently serve? So fortunately, uh, we, uh, we were one of three companies that uh, were able to win in all of the 11 regions. Um, two other great companies, uh, Sunshine, um, one in all of the 11 regions, Humana, who has been providing these services for many years, also one in the 11 uh, regions. Um, WellCare, which is uh, an excellent organization, one in 10 of the 11 regions. But as most, most of you know, uh, there is a merger going on between uh, Centene or Sunshine and WellCare that should happen uh, sometime in early um, 2020 uh, is what we're hearing from the, um, from the regulators. Um, so we are very pleased that Florida Community Care operates in all of the 11 regions and in every county in the state of Florida. Why are reimbursement rates different in different regions? So we, we always get asked this question, why are the rates different uh, region by region? And uh, this really is an effort that ACA and, and their actuarial firms really take a look at what the fee-for-service expenditures are, and that's why they have different rates uh, in every region. And uh, what Florida Community Care tries to do is to communicate with those providers in those communities, explain what the rates are, and then explain how we are able to get to the maximum possible reimbursement uh, for the assisted living facilities. What are extra benefits that FCC offers that differ from other plans? So when it comes to extra benefits, uh, I think that the, the most important extra benefit is the, the personal touch that, that we try to provide uh, to our assisted living facilities and to all of our providers across the state of Florida. Um, we will be the only domiciled uh, company that is Florida based. Uh, at this time, they are two uh, companies that are domiciled in Florida, WellCare being one of them and Florida Community Care being uh, the, the, the second company. But um, with the merger of WellCare, uh, now Florida Community Care will be the only Florida domiciled company. And that's very important because we believe that healthcare and long-term care services are very much a local service. Um, the most important component that we offer as a benefit is that we have that personal touch. We make sure that we're taking care of our customers. We're making sure that all of our members are having the, the highest possible quality of care through our care man managers. We're constantly communicating with the facilities and with the providers to make sure that we have personal touch. All of our operations are based here in, in, in the state of Florida and um, all of our executives are very accessible uh, because they're here in the state of Florida. 
And if you guys have any issues or you want to get a contract or you want to you have something you want to discuss regarding Florida Community Care, you can go on the ALF Plus website. We have a link on there. You click on that, submit your question. I'll make sure it gets to the appropriate person. Someone will return your call that same day or the next day, guaranteed. Uh, that's part of your amazing service. And um, thanks for tuning in. And thanks for joining us, Nestor. It was Thank amazing. You. Thank you. This guy is the man. <laughs> and we'll see you next episode. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right.